Hi, this is Celeste from Bookish and Bell, and I'm going to show you what's in my iPhone. So this is just the iPhone 6 in the white and gold color. My background image here is something I just created using Instagram. It's actually the page of images that I had liked, and so they sort of create a grid there, and I happen to have liked a bunch that were all in the sort of blue tone family, and I think it looks really cool. Here on my main screen, in the dock at the bottom, I've got Mail Safari podcasts, which I listen to all the time, and music, of course. And then for the rest of the screen, starting at the top left, you've got obviously your messages, your phone, Instagram camera, maps and weather, and the clock, which you use all the time, Visco cam, which I love for low lighting situations and other times when I want to be able to control the exposure a little bit better. Audible, which is how I listen to audiobooks, which I do a lot. Obviously, your settings. Headspace, which is a really great meditation app. All my photos there. Then I have my Reads folder. When you open that up, you've got iBooks and Kindle. Oyster, which I'm not subscribed to at the moment, but that is an ebook subscription service. Comixology, of course, for comics. Feedly, which is where I like to read various blogs and publications that I'm subscribed to. Flipboard, which is similar, but I don't use so much anymore. Savage Love is the Dan Savage Love Letter of the Day column. I look at that sometimes. You've got poetry, your newsstand, of course, for all the magazines. And then finally over here, I have style.com, which I love to look at during Fashion Week to get the latest images of all the different collections. And back out on the main screen, of course, you've got Facebook, Lose It, which is how I track everything that I eat during the day to make sure that I'm having a healthy number of calories. My calendar, Goodreads, of course, Twitter, Pinterest, and then the calculator. Over here, I like to keep everything super organized with files. And I am obsessed with compulsive, so I do really like when they are all even. I don't like to have a single file on like another level that just makes me really happy how clean it looks. <laughs> At the top you've got games. Some of my favorites are Threes and Tetris. I like to play Quiz Up with my husband. In my info folder, I use IMDb a lot. I like to look at time hop sometimes. My fitness pal is something I enjoy using if I need to look up the calories for something that isn't listed in the Lose It app. I really like the user interface of Lose It better, but my fitness pal has a better encyclopedic knowledge of the calories in different foods. Yelp, of course, is great for finding somewhere to eat when I'm in an area of town that I'm not usually in. And then over here, you've got Ringley. Ringley is this really cool wearable technology that I have that I will actually do a separate video or maybe blog post on as a review because it's pretty interesting. So you can Google that if you want to know more as well. My money folder obviously speaks for itself. Mint is an app I would definitely recommend for anyone who's trying to stick to a budget and isn't great at keeping track of things themselves. My shopping folder, of course, all of my favorite stores and places to shop. You got Amazon there. I love to order something really quickly from my phone if I realize there's something that I need and I'm on the go. It just makes things super convenient. Zillow I used when we were looking for a house and I still like to browse it sometimes just for fun. Of course, the Rosas and Chipotle are great for ordering food on the go. And then you've got Plated and Grubhub because I am a stereotypical millennial. TV is where I've got YouTube, Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime, HBO Go, and of course my videos. Radio is where I like to keep Pandora and the This American Life app and this great white noise app, which is really good. If you're reading somewhere, there there is a lot of noise. You just put in your earphones and you can listen to something that doesn't disturb your reading. I used to use that all the time when I went to the laundromat before we bought our house. Social is where I keep my sort of less frequently used social networking applications. I also stuffed somebody in there because there wasn't anywhere else very good for it to go. And I also put in the Squarespace blog editing mobile app. 
my photography folder. Lately I've been using word swag a lot to create things. I think it's super fun. My French folder has all my language learning tools and translators and dictionaries. Duolingo is a fantastic app if you're interested in learning a foreign language. It's a lot like Rosetta Stone, but I think it's better and it is obviously less expensive. Got your recipe app that I use sometimes. That Omaha Steaks one is really good for um, figuring out how to cook the perfect steak. And it lets you time out your steaks as well. So you can, if you're cooking several steaks for different people that want them at different cook times, it'll do all of the calculations for you. So you just become like a master chef who times things perfectly. It's pretty great. Records is where I keep things like my Google Documents, my notes, my voice recorder. Right now I have Scannable and Scanner Pro because I have not started digitizing my documents yet and I haven't decided which one of these I want to use, so I'm going to play around with them. Finally, my exercise folder over here. And on my final page is where I like to keep my useless folder. I think everybody has one of these. You throw in all those stupid apps that you don't really use, but... Apple forces you to keep on your phone for some reason, taking up all of your room. Well, I hope you enjoyed getting this look at what's on my iPhone. And please like the video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe. That would mean so, so much to me.